Hey friends, <laughs> it's Natana. Welcome to workout 27 of 100 for my fitness and sobriety challenge with body. We are doing downbeat strength today with morning meltdown 100. And it is a Wednesday morning. It's the 18th of October. I am still feeling low energy. Like I have just enough energy to emotionally get like so many things done. And I was at the acupuncturist on Monday when we were talking about where was I in my cycle. And so I pulled up my app and I was like, oh, it says I'm here, but I swear I feel like I was ovulating the other day. So much so that I thought to myself, huh, I think I'm ovulating. And then I looked at my app and it said, you should be ovulating in a few days before, you know, I mean, a few days after I had already felt like I was ovulating. So then I pulled up another app and it said that I've already ovulated. And she was like, I would go off the second app because you felt it and you thought it. And that second app is um, speaking to the fact that you have already ovulated on the day that you most likely ovulated on. Anyways, my whole point to this, <laughs> being a woman, um, you know, during different parts of your ovulation cycle, I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. You're, you have energy or you don't have energy. You, you're in a good mood or you're not in a good mood. Like there's just, it's, it's never a consistent thing. It's always different. So like for women, when you have like women instructors for fitness, I don't understand why they don't base it off of your cycle. Like if you're going to make a, <clears throat> say like a months long workout program, it would be best for the workout program to be broken down into hormonal phases. Now, if you don't know your hormone phases, it's going to take at least like six months to figure it out. Okay. At least three to six months for you to get some of a awareness of where you're ovulating at, yada, yada, yada. Okay. Um, but if you keep track of those things, then, you know, if they broke it down into four weeks of this phase, this phase, this phase, this phase, it'd be perfect. Cause then you could just click on that weeks of workouts and those would definitely be way more geared towards what your energy levels are needing, you know, to really nurture and nourish your body as a woman. It's so unique living in these times that we live in with people that are confused in a sense that, I mean, let me say this because I don't want it to come off wrong. People that are confused, what I mean is they have transitioned to another gender, which is fine and great and totally respect that. And at the same time, they believe like they're going to get their period. I mean, I can't honestly believe that they think that they're going to get their period knowing good and well that they're definitely not because they don't have a period to have. Will they be experiencing hormonal cycles now like I do as a natural born woman? Um, probably depends on where they're at in their hormonal journey as a transitioning is happening and what that looks like after the transition has fully happened. And I'm pretty sure they're on hormones forever. Um, so yeah, I mean, like this is vital for everybody, honestly, just really depending on one, how you're naturally born and two, what you're putting into your body as well. I don't mean to have so much hormone talk. It's just, I am feeling not tired, but my body is feeling tired. Like I'm not tired. If that makes sense. Like I'm not like, Oh, I need more sleep. It's more like my body is just, Oh, <laughs> that's exactly what it feels like. It's like, Oh, anyways, guys, I'm here. I'm getting it done. I'm showing up. Um, I'm using my weight and I'm struggling downbeat days I think are days that I should be aware definitely to put on shoes because it will help me balance better 
And even though it's great to balance without shoes because you're born barefoot and naked, you know, and your feet definitely need to expand and use all the muscles, it would also be good for my balance <laughs> to, um, you know, put on some shoes. Unless I went back to old school Natana status and bought some Vibrams. Oh my God, those two, those sh sh oh my gosh, dyslexia is so hard right now. Toe shoes, toe shoes, shoes that have individual slots for your toes. Vibrams, um, they're normally like for runners. Those are the type of people that you would see wearing those shoes, but they're great, especially for massage therapy because you're on your feet for at least five plus hours a day doing massage doing lunges and squats and you know being in different stances so if we're doing back lunges or different things like that like it's just nice to kind of have a little bit more support it's more on my ankles so honestly i don't even really need shoes i just need to put on a good ankle support that's like those socks you know that like give you a hole in the heel and on the front of the toes so that way your ankle is still supported that's what i need that's exactly what i could get to make this happen yesterday was a really good day it was a relaxing day i got a few things done but for the most part i took it as gentle and easy as possible i had a class on numerology which was amazing um unfortunately i didn't get any extra schoolwork done um but you know <laughs> trying to juggle and prioritize life and still live it and have fun those are all things that i'm learning how to do one moment at a time so I have class tonight. We'll be doing mediumship practice and readings, which I'm really excited about. And um, yeah, I'm just stuck on the social media part of my business that I'm working on for school. So I'm really hoping to get into the energetics of channeling that, writing it out, being in that flow, feeling the sexiness of that, the excitement, the magic. Um, just so that way I can really channel it through because that's really what makes the difference when you're building things. So guys, um, thank you for working out with me. I appreciate you so much. I hope you have a lovely Wednesday. Hang in there. This month is almost over, but receive all the blessings possible. Bye.